Hello there. Kristax here. Welcome to my Let's Play series. This time we'll be playing a game called Pathologic 2. Now, a while ago a friend of mine recommended this game to me. I checked it out on Steam. I thought it looked very cool. Very interesting. Very unique. So, I figured I'd record my experience playing this game and share it with everybody and see how it goes. Now, I have not played this game before. I have no real idea of what I'm about to get into, other than possibly a lot of pain and suffering. So, naturally, we're going to be playing this game with the hardest difficulty, or the intended difficulty, as this game likes to refer it to as. So, I'm sure we're in for one hell of a time. So, let's just get straight down to it, see how this goes. I wonder if there will be jump scares. <laughs> Probably not that type of game. Who knows? We'll see. Oh, man. What is this? It's so dark. Where am I? Ooh. Oh, that is a creepy painting. Uh, can I open this door? No? Uh, what is the use key? I did not check. Probably E, right? Uh, where can I go? So... Little lantern here. It's, uh, whoa! Oh, you're uh, you're creepy. Hello? Shall I sing you a song? Ah, uh, wait. They have different dialogue here. Okay. So, Burak, your performance was a flop. You're unfit for the role. A cursed production. This is our second attempt, and a second failure. Come on, the first run was decent. Or will you try to stage it again? Uh, I have no idea what is going on, so I'm just going to pick this. Why not? But you won't be there. You do nothing to improve yourself. <laughs> but I do. That is <clears throat> not for you to judge. We gave it all we had. It's not our fault you've put us into these inhuman conditions. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Whoa. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. What is going on? Uh, Alright then. Press left control. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I get it. So it makes it so that I can see who I can still talk to. Hello? Your friend seems very dead. Are you upset about that? Oh, I'm exhausted. On my last legs. They don't trust me anymore. I wasn't even invited to the final council. Where are the birds? I can imagine what kind of advice he would have given them. Erdem. Uh, I love how the, one of the questions is just, where are the birds? Uh, we'll go with that, actually. Why not? Up. Where else? If you mean the real ones. Yeah, I meant the real ones. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Unless th he means those things that kind of like look like the plague doctor birds. Uh, let's talk to you. See, I'm not holding you back. Let each of us find our own path. All right. Turns out the burns aren't birds after all. Want to know what they are? Lean down and I'll tell you. Lower, lower now. Their fingers. Oh my goodness. Why did they tell you that? Yeah, this is a direct quote. We're not birds, we're fingers. That's why people call them executors. Are you tired? Want me to relieve your headache? Oh dear, what is she gonna try to do? Go ahead, I'd rather you relieve my heartache. It's become so acute lately, like my heart expires. Oh, whatever the second option might lead to, we'll go with the first one. Did she do anything? No? Well, that sucks. <laughs> Alright, whatever. We'll keep moving on. I want to talk to that bird man up there. Because the, he's probably the finger, right? The actual finger. It's so damn dark here. What? There are shadows of multiple uh, bird people. I think. Well, we'll just talk to this very creepy-looking dude. 
Want to receive your payment? Well, everyone will get paid what they're due in the cathedral. That's where the final choice will be made. By whom? The authorities. Pity. Very well. We'll move on then. J, what is J? We'll fix everything. The decision just will be made in the cathedral, right? Oh, it's the map. Okay. Okay. Okay, fair enough. So, this is me, presumably. <laughs> You're hated here. Okay. We gotta go to the cathedral then. Let's go. What's this? My inventory. Wonderful. I have. Tincture. Tincture. And more tincture of different colors. Lovely. Hmm. Oh, right, because my dude was supposed to be like a surgeon or a doctor or something. I remember that now. My dude had a profession. Alright, let's, uh... Yeah, I just did that. I gotta go here. Let's try to find my way out. Right, we can just leave. Day 12, last one. Which the Harris Pex ends with a semicolon. Wonderful. Alright, uh, so it's, it's not that far away. But I feel like I should explore a little bit because I don't want to get stuck here and miss out on a lot of good things, a lot of good dialogue, and a lot of interesting NPCs. What do we got? Oh, I can just take the shit. Okay. Alright, I'll take that. I assume I can take this freely, right? Yeah, that, that's probably all there was. Alright, let's move on. Nice music. Very atmospheric. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. Ugh. I can just smell the death and disease all around me. Hello? Can I talk to these guards? I don't think so. I don't think I'm going the right way. I, wait. Okay, yeah, I am. Yes, I am. It's all good. It's all fine. Let's keep moving. That poor man. I wonder what was happening over there. I can't go there though. I love how I can go through the barbed wire, but I can't go through the tank traps. Very, very interesting. Let's see what do we got here. Oh no. Don't kill them. What have they done? Explain yourselves. Don't shoot them. Yes, talk to the officer. Move along, Doctor. Nothing to see here. Work as usual. Who are these people? Butcher's work. You're killing people. You bastards. I can't believe this is our military. Even invaders are more humane. Stop the circus now. You know better than anyone. There is no salvation from the sand pest. People go mad with pain. They're not responsible for their actions. We put them out of their misery and protect the healthy. Legal orders. You burn them alive. No. We burn infected miasmas. What miasmas? You know nothing about this disease. Your orders are illegal. Let's go with the upper option. We have our instructions. Compiled by our own... By your own doctors. Mode of infection. Unknown. It's transmitted through air, saliva, touch, and God knows what else. We've lost half our men already. You deserve it. Go, Doctor. Stop lecturing us. If you were better at your job, we wouldn't have to be so good at ours. But there's still no cure. Or do you think we enjoy shooting at burning civilians? Those people are healthy. Why have you seized them? They're looters. Like I said, it's work as usual. You do your job, and we'll do ours. You should let them go. A couple less, a couple more. What does it matter? Just let them go, man. They did nothing, right? Shoot me instead. Just do it! 
Pull the trigger. Don't kill this poor girl. Or this, uh, poor, poor lad. Don't do it. I will stand in their defense. Now oh, they'll probably just kill them anyway. Looks like I can't influence that decision. Alright, let's just carry on. Let's go to the cathedral where the game wants me to go. Can I run? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Alright. It's so dark. Ugh. Ugh. Are those... Those aren't rats. No, those are... What are these things? Are they rats? They're so small and they jump all over the place. Hello. Sorry, I do not speak your language. <laughs> I know where you're going. Want a piece of advice? Sure. Well, it won't take long. The town is gone. And to hell with it! But the kin are also gone. Your family is gone. Your father remains unavenged. His path unfollowed. The seven children who entrusted their lives to you are dead. You are the only one left. Do you want to save yourself at least? No. No, you don't know the whole situation. Not all is lost. The outbreak can still be curbed. That's why I'm going to the cathedral. It's there that the decision about the bombardment is made. We'll go with that. Heed my advice. You think she loves you? Think she's a friend and he's a foe because he brought in cannons? Don't talk to her first. Talk to him. What are you talking about? I'll talk to whoever I want first, whenever I want. You don't get to choose that. You know nothing. She's my ally. Bayarl, Bayarla Shahwa. And now I need to go. Yeah, I need to go. I'm done talking to you. Don't. What? Alright then! Looks like I'm tripping balls or something. Guess that person wasn't real. Oh no. Those poor people. That's all I can say. I have to witness this horrible thing. Let's keep going. With all these jumping mini rats. Can I open this? No? Looks like I can. So let's carry on. Am I at the cathedral yet? No, I'll keep going straight. Follow this street. Alright. Throwing burning shit out of the window. Love it. Who's making that really annoying noise? I'm so tired of hearing it. Ooh, what is that? Ugh. Is this the cathedral? No, but it looks like... Can I go in? I cannot go in. How sad. I can probably talk to this guy, right? These guards here? You fucking flamethrowering bastards. Can't talk to anyone, apparently. The guards remain very silent. What do we got here? Absolutely nothing. Notes that I cannot even loot. Right, let me check my inventory again. I just wanted to see if I actually have any weapons or something. I have chalk. I have a tourniquet. Oh yeah, let's, uh, can I read this? Menu. Touch. Schlaffer contracted it. Anichkov contracted it. Yaksin contracted it. Everyone got it. Captain has it contracted it. Put a bullet in his head. Wonderful. I needed to know this information, I'm sure. Why can I not talk to any of you? Oh dear, it's the kiddos. Uh, can I talk to you? No? Oh yeah, I forgot I can use the uh, control feature. That's right. I should focus on that. Rather than just try to talk to everybody. That's all I hear all the time. It's getting a little repetitive. <laughs> oh dear. What's this? What am I about to drink? I don't know if I should drink that. To hell with it. Let's do it. Gulp. 
Hopefully that doesn't kill me. Hopefully it wasn't infected water or whatever substance was in that barrel. Hello, kiddos. I'm not by the cathedral yet. Yes, I'm very close. Alright. Let's carry on. Ugh. What are these things? They look like such tiny mini rats or something. Yeah. Let's just head inside. Loading. All right. Oh yeah, the guy wanted me to talk to the dude first. Or should I talk to the girl first? We will see. I'll talk to the dude. We need... We need to get back to the front. Yes. Is this the doctor? This is the doctor. What do you want? I want to influence your decision somehow. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have no idea what kind of politics I'm about to get into, so I'd rather just focus on doing my job. Try to cure this disease. Isn't that what I'm kind of trying to do? Proof? I, uh... I didn't have time to collect it. What is this nonsense? State your name and occupation. Artemi Burak, surgeon. I see. Give me a reason to call off this. Call off the bombardment. You have one chance. Oh dear. Oh, I know how to make a serum. There are still many survivors here. No, he won't give a damn about that. I know these army men. You are a war hero. The only person in our army who can truly be called human. That's gonna be an interesting call. <sighs> what do you think? Well, even if you would like to share your answer, I'm just going to have to guess it. So, I'll assume we all can conclude that the right answer is the serum. Oh dear. No, Burak. If you told me you had three tank cars of that Panakea and an army of doctors from the capital ready to administer it, that would have convinced me. As it stands, there's no going back. It's too great a risk. We only had 12 days. That's enough. That's not enough time. Oh dear. I, I guess we fucked that up. Now a lot of people are gonna die. Now what about you? Who are you? You can put a horse on the stand, but you can't make it testify. I like your approach. Why have you come? You now decide the town's fate. To confirm... To confirm to you that we have the means to fight the plague. Let's, let's try that. The plague, not the outbreak. Who cares? We, are, we already decided everything without you. You've come in uninvited. What did you decide? Who are you to demand reports from us? A backwoodsman? A self-taught doctor practicing barbaric traditional medicine? Oh, but I know who you are. You're the person I was very wrong to put on my to put my hopes on. The person who let me down. Out! Now I just need one more day! Come on! Just give me a chance. Hey you, over there, seize this man and throw him out. Aglaya, please! Listen! I, I guess that's just not gonna happen. Oh yeah, it's Mr. Creeper. It's Mr. Creeper that I met at the beginning of the game. Mind you don't step off the stage and break something. So you insist on a second attempt, huh? Stubborn. Perhaps. But what second attempt? Have I tried this before? It's a first one, right? Alright, let's roll then. Let us imagine that the last train has not yet left the station. Just don't be late. Can, can this guy, like, change time or something? Is that what he does? Can this guy, uh... Time travel? Now all I need is not to miss my stop. Alright, let's roll. So... The train. Oh, okay. He's just gonna teleport me to the train, I guess. I am the surgeon. Coming back to my hometown. No, I can read the rest of that. Oh, on the way home, where it all began. Okay. So, yeah, I guess I just did go back in time or something. Oh. That thing just materialized out of, like, 
Oh my. If that ain't creepy, I don't know what is. Give me my scalpel. Do I have my scalpel? This guy's gonna destroy me. He's gonna kill me. Help! <laughs> okay, whatever. Enough of that. He's probably harmless, right? How did you get inside this coffin? Yeah, I wanna know that. No. Oh, he's talking to me. No! You were in the coffin! Why did you crawl in there? I was hiding. From whom? Death? That's one tiny compartment. Your bones must be, must be aching. I'll go with that. A coffin is the best means of transportation in the world. It can get you to unimaginable places. You look alive, though. So that vehicle is beyond your means for now. A free rider, huh? Nah, I'll just go with the true option. But he has nothing else to say. Okay, I guess we can go out, right? Coming home! All I need is to avoid distraction. Uh-oh. Shit. Oh no. Did I miss my stop? What's going on? Uh-oh. Oh hey, I do have a lantern. Awesome. Oh, I can punch. Nice. Good to know. Ugh. Alright, wait, wait. Where did the guy go? What happened? Did we crash? Oh, we did. Ooh. Well, the trains seem to be full of these kind of tiny looking coffins. Ooh. Looks like. Oh my. <laughs> what drugs am I on? Can I talk to these people? Yes, I can. Railroads are beautiful. They always lead to one place you can't turn from. Except when there's a silly mistake, like this trash, sorry, this crash, dying just to escape fate. Stupid. Boring. Who are you? Yes, kind volunteers. Who advise you to return to the train car? It will soon leave. That bull, <laughs> what has it done? That is Boss Turok, a creature of steppe legends from which the world was created. What was he trying to achieve here? Stupid. Life can never prevent death. What is ahead then? Why the fires? As you can see, the blood no longer flows in this artery. There's a clot. You're a doctor, aren't you? Do you have the medicine with you? Medicine? What for? How should we know? You're the doctor, not us. Go and see. We're only ensuring no other trains are derailed. We'll fix yours, too, once the beast leaves the tracks. I have a lot of time on my hands, then. Bull's stubborn. I'll go on foot, then. Someone's waiting for me. Yeah, well, we'll try to handle the bull, whatever that requires. Let's see the journal. What does it want me to do? There's darkness ahead. I follow the rails into a black cloud. Am I just hallucinating this whole thing? Hello? Okay, apparently. I cannot talk to the rest of them. What a crazy sized bull. Look at those balls. Oh, looks like I can't do anything about it. What are the other things I have? I have. Oh, I have a gun. Or no. Apparently I don't have it. Just have a lantern for now. Okay. That's fine. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Oh, oh, oh. What's going on? Oh, shit. Did I get infected? How? I didn't do anything. Okay, I'm back here apparently. Hello? Want to share secrets? <laughs> yeah, sure. You go first though. I'm worried people won't be so happy to see me in the town. What if they shun me like some mutt and slam doors in my face? What if my toll is too small? I could fail to meet my goal. But. Maybe this is the only kind of... Sorry. Maybe this is only anxiety. Yes, I can do it. Are you an insurance man? You don't look like a tax collector. They write first class. Recruiter? Are you a preacher? Uh, maybe he's an insurance man? Not really. <laughs> your turn now. You're supposed to tell me! I'm not supposed to be guessing. Be honest and your fate will change. That's how it goes. I'm worried about my father. He summoned me with a letter. I troubled someone. Something bad has happened. I'm a surgeon. 
I could become a good doctor, but I can't find myself. I'm afraid I'll waste my whole life in the state. Yeah, I guess I should be truthful, right? Do you want to play? I'm game. Sure. Dice. What are the stakes? Your fate. Oh. Who are you? A person can't lose their fate. <laughs> You're a funny man. Well, I guess we're not playing then. Oh. I hope we've arrived at our destination, and hopefully I'm not sick. So what's going on? This place is wrong. This is not my home. Who is in the back room? Ooh. Whoa! Okay, then. Who are you? What are these people? Some kind of ghosts? Let's pretend I never saw that. Who are these things? Or people, if they even are people, who are they? They're very creepy. But, uh, don't mind if I just take this. What's in here? Ooh, that's some nice stuff. Wait, I lost all my gear? Got an egg. Some money. Wait, where did the money go? Oh, I, okay, there's a separate inventory slot for the money. Okay, what's in here? Smoked meat. Okay, we'll uh, just take it. That was it, right? Yep, that was all there was. Let's keep going. Yeah, I'll just close this door. I don't want to bother you things. Oh, wait, wait, go back. I didn't check the other room. What do we got? Some soap. Alright, more empty bottles. Mm, what else can I take? Nothing, nothing. Another bottle. Money. Needle, actually, yeah, a needle is probably useful. Fingernail. The ferryman requires payment. Before he'll let me on in the boat. This cord this coin will do. Alright. I like the sound of that. We'll go with that. Alright. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hello? Someone heavy. I hear heavy steps in the dark. I can't see you. Are you death? You're feverish. How can I help you? No, I'm a doctor. What's wrong with you? Water. So thirsty. I need a drink of fresh water. Please, bring it to me. Alright. Oh, where do I get it? Outside in the yard. How to talk. Alright, wait for me. Keep silent then. Alright, let's, let's get some water for the girl. What's in here? Spindle. Alright. For the needle, right? Okay. Let's go check the yard. Out in the back. Oh. Who are you? Why am I not even surprised? So we have these odd black shapeshifter dudes. Very, uh, very creepy. Alright, let's get the water. Probably this. This barrel again, right? Use the bottles. Let's just fill all the bottles, right? At least most of them. Weird black dude has left. Oh, wait, who are these? Oh wait, no, never never mind. I already I already was here, right? Wait, no, I wasn't. That's oh. Did a die miss something? What the hell? Am I back on the train again? What is going on? Bad dream? Oh I was dreaming? <laughs> did you, why did you wake me up? Did I? Awake, sleep, it doesn't matter. You're a restless man. 
I just wondered what's inside. Oh. Oh, I, I do not like how this guy's putting it as. Is he gonna steal my kidneys? Steal something else? Why? Just who I am? I like to get under people's skin to look beneath the surface. Yeah, well, you, you, you probably want to do that quite literally. Curiosity killed the cat. Am I gonna kill him now or something? Oh, what the hell? Where the hell am I? What are those things? Real creepy. Yeah, I agree. I agree fully. Who are you? Let Mother Bolho caress your step. Colburn, you haven't forgotten your people, have you? I'm not one of you. I wasn't raised on the step. Do you have a good heart? <laughs> well, it's healthy. Well, it's healthy. We hear Earth with our hearts. The heart has a pulse. So does Earth. If they sing in harmony, you hear the language of Earth and herbs. The language of warmth and cold. Look, tang her, and listen. Whose words are all around? What does the Earth say? This is a lot of things. I can't decipher this language. A lot of time has passed. You were gone. You forgot many things. Your heart is spoiled. Khatanger. Let us see if it's rotten. How can you see that? The fight will show whose heart is keen. Who hears the unheard words? You will see my heart. The kin's blood runs through me. I was never torn from my people. Neither was I. You aren't people but beasts. I'm not one of you. Oh, am I gonna just fight this person? Okay then. Alright. Come on, come at me then. Let's do this. I'm gonna beat you up. I'm gonna mess you up real good. Come on. Aren't you gonna fight back? All oh, right, I'm supposed to hold it. Okay, put him down. Damn, I need to rest. All right, catch your breath. Catch your breath. The dude seems really slow. So, I might to understand that my character is off the step, but at the same time, he says he wasn't raised here and he wants to deny his heritage. Something of that nature. Come on. Just put him down. How much punishment can this dude take? <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe I just need to do what it asks me to do. Block the attacks. Alright, come on. Oh. Okay. Okay, stop kicking me. Can I kick him? Apparently kicks are a hell of a lot stronger than punching. Okay. Why would it go back faster when I'm blocking? Spill his blood, yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. Man, real ridiculous Iron Man he is. Come on. Draw some blood already. No one can take punishment like this without... Starting to bleed from one place or another. Maybe he's just blocking everything. God, I can't, I'm stuck. Okay, managed to get out. Wonderful. Come on. Approach me. Approach me. Oh, you little bastard. Come on. Smack him. He doesn't want to come. He just want to wants to hide in his little corner and be a little bastard. All right, come on. Mess him up already. What? How did you hit me from there? Come on. 
love the frames on this blocking animation. Yeah, come on. Is he just block? I think he's just blocking everything I'm throwing at him. How am I supposed to make him bleed, huh? How much punishment can he take? Can I kick? How do you do the kick? I don't... I don't think I can. Maybe I am just supposed to lose? I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here. But this dude is just not going down. Oh. How does he hit me from that range? Let us trade hard skill, but let's become kin. Nah, I'd rather keep mine. A river of good washes away a drop of rot. There is no me and you, there is a people. Mix your flesh with ours. Just let me go. No, I don't want to exchange hearts. I don't know you. I don't know these people. Maybe I'm just hallucinating again. I guess I don't have a choice. Ugh. Hey, maybe I do have a run hard after all. Right. Fine, whatever. Whatever. I have no idea what that's gonna do, but we'll see. We'll see. Still on this damn train. Couldn't even help the girl. I'm really not starting to like you at all. We're almost there. <laughs> I'm gonna play dice. Are you relieved? You know what? Let's play dice. Have we played? I have not seen us play at all. There's no more time for games. We have work to do. I have work to do. Are we there already? You can't miss it. We're riding on the rails, like a railroad. Like fate, always has a final destination. Our next stop will be our last. The true stop. Alright, good. Well, it was nice passing the time. Good luck with your father. I'm sure he can't wait. Good luck to you, too. Well, yeah. Good luck to you, too, sir. Oh! Was he one of these creepy bird men things all along? Okay, I hope this is the right stop, right? I mean, it's the same place I was just at. Right? Maybe My not. dear son, Artemy, I write to you after so many years apart in the hopes that you may find a way to return to us. Something worries me. I feel a difficult trial approaches. I hope that your studies have proven fruitful and that you have achieved great skill as a surgeon. Such skill might be of use here. I remain the only physician in this town, but you know that I am growing old. I need an assistant. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for those reassuring words. Alright, where are we? Cannot open that. Creepy painting. A wheel? Barrels? Am I gonna find my dad in some of these rooms? Maybe. Uh, again, I lost all my loot. What's this? Infected blood. Uh, Alright, we'll take that. A rusty scalpel. Well, it's a tool nonetheless, so I'm just gonna take it. A lot of laughter. A lot of laughter from a room with nobody in it. Wonderful. Can I have some of this... Is this uh, like a moonshine distillery? Whatever. 
can go on. <laughs> More laughter. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Yes. Very hilarious. Yeah, we'll take, we'll take the soap. Of course we will. Oh, it is so dark in here. After the intro, the game will no longer autosave. Find places to save manually. Oh, okay, that, that's good to know. Because I thought this was autosaving all the time. Alright. Oh dear, where am I now? What's going on? Who is that guy? Did you do this? Did you kill those men? Don't tell me I'm back on the goddamn train. Oh wait, is this me? Is that me? Oh shit. I'll assume it is. Why am I back on the tracks again? gonna die. Wait. What? Taking away. Day one, in which the Hatter Specs finds out his hometown was changed. Game saved. I thought you just said the game wouldn't auto save. Okay, yeah, whatever, I'll just I'll just take the things that he has. Chestnut. Alright, yeah, I just just take it all. Money, fishing hooks. The townsfolk think sharp objects are to be frowned upon. Alright. Broken scissors. Pocket watch. Alright. What do you have? Some toast. Money, scrap name. Okay. A charm. We'll just take it all. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Wolfhead, it's so nice the to see you. To come. You hit hard for a hunchback, but whoa, boy, you screwed up. Those three guys are dead. I saw you do it too. You're gonna be in serious trouble. A hunchback? Kid, I'm bent over in pain here. What kind of doggy are you? Shut up, mongrel. Won't take much work for me to add a fourth to the pile. Just this, what kind of doggy are you? I'm a watchdog. <laughs> All right, w what a way to show it off, right? Ah, uh, and I watch out for your soul. No, wait, I'm a guide dog. I'm gonna guide your soul to its rightful place when you die. Oh dear, you you are one hell of a thing. My soul, these poor fools need your help first. Man, you really have some anger problems, don't you? Zing, pow, blam, these guys are dead. This ain't the right way. Ain't how we do things around here. Kid, around here isn't anywhere special. Well, this town is special. I mean, the folk are ordinary. But the town... I know, I was born here. Well, you gotta be nicer. Just hit him three times, max. Send him running and let him run. You don't actually have to kill everyone who bothers you. Jeez. I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Ah, oh, you can, okay, I can talk to him again. When the cat's away, the mice will play. The one with the knife was Kirik, the leather worker. Not gonna cry him. Sorry, not gonna cry for him. That guy was nuts. Was this an ambush? How long were they uh, waiting for me? They weren't waiting for you. I think you were an accident. What? An accident? Is this kind of accident common around here? Sometimes. But things usually go smoothly, and everyone meets their fate they were destined for. Every bullet finds its billet. Every bullet finds its billet indeed. I'm not a, I'm not a big believer in fate. So why did they jump me? I don't know. Rumors going around that someone else got murdered tonight. I guess I should sniff around and find out. Who knows? Maybe it's true. Good boy. Good boy, you do that. 
You do that and uh, report to me later on, right? You're supposed to be my guide dog, right? Just look at him. Just, just look at this hat. Now nah, that boy has probably seen, seen some things, right? So who are those bird men? Are they like police or something? They're just some kind of watchers. Well, Burak, you're nearly dead. Got a few minutes left. I'm here to announce your demise. <laughs> well, I am so happy you would uh, have the decency to do that. Can't do much on short notice. Are you with that crowd? Of course I'm not. They were just peaceful townsfolk. Craftsmen, factory workers, good sons and fathers. But me? I'm much more dangerous. I'm the mask of fate. Yeah. Peaceful. Yeah, right. Why did they try to kill me? My esteemed colleague will explain. Oh, you've been bashed on the head several times, and the local fists are heavy. And one of those four stab wounds looked deep. Significant blood loss, too. And the local climate is unforgiving in terms of strain. Do you have any heart conditions? Mm, none. Your health is a mess. I'm guessing you haven't eaten in several days, and that you didn't sleep last night, did you? That's what I thought. So your hunger and exhaustion are critical too. I wonder which one of these afflictions will be your death. Will be the death of you first. So what's your plan? Any good advice? Dressing your wounds would be a good idea. Where would I get bandages? A drug, a drug store, Burak. You've been studying surgery for six years and you're just fighting this out now. And it's not just about the wounds. Even when they're dressed, you still need to be aware of your body. It's not always on your side. Pay attention to its needs. Thanks. I'll keep it in mind, Birdman. When I need a lecture on, anat on autonomy. Anatomy. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? Be quiet. He must not hear your voice. Lean close. He only speaks in lies and wants you dead. I see. Care to elaborate on that, monkey man? Do not go home, Burak. Stay clear of home. In town, you have some friends yet. Do you not? Yes, three of them. We were insepar inseparable when we were kids. Let me guess. Father is unhappy with me, isn't he? The town is yours, Burak. May you soon find how deep, how far its roots run down your spine. May you inhibit. May you inhibit it. Sink through its pores. Learn vein and artery. Nerve and blood and cell. You need not go home. Uh, you need no home beyond the town itself. Forget that place. You so eagerly seek. I beg forgiveness. Grievous harm will come to me, should I tell you more than I can. And I'll keep in mind what you said. Okay. So it's like, uh, literally supposed to be like a reflection of this dude. Welcome back, Warden. You've been away for a while. You probably don't even remember the heady scent of twire in the air. Do you know why you got attacked? No. The whole town is looking for a murderer. A very important and respected man was killed last night. The townsfolk loved him better than some children love their fathers. Don't be too hard on them. Should I feel bad for them? Say, sorry, maybe? What does that have to do with me? Who was killed? You knew the victim. Less than you, though. Less than you thought, but more than most. Don't worry, you will learn more soon. But personally, I cannot divulge this sort of information. Investi investigator's privilege. So you're an investigator. Aren't we all? Everyone lies, so you can only get to the bottom of things by using your brain. That's what your father used to say. It's an actual quote from him, by the way, because I happen to know him. And we even, we even better acquainted today. How about you? Did you two argue much? Never. Why do you care so much, bird? You know him? Unlikely. He hates people who hide their faces. Indeed. Old Isidore Burach is the exemplar of a true doctor and a true human being, if a miserable one. Do you honor your father? When we're done here. I don't think I can get any information out of you. Time is short. Oh, by the way, Burak, time is important. Be careful how you spend it. Be aware that you don't have much left. I know, a few more minutes. Your colleague already told me. Well, a little more. I intend to live 80. Oh, I, <laughs> I intend to live to 80, no less. We're a long-lived family. 
You've got less than two weeks, Burak. Twelve or so days, trust me. I'm a specialist. So use your time well, and hurry home. Why are you wasting your time here? Your father's waiting. I should hurry home, that's true. That's why I returned to town, after all. Yeah, let's just carry on. scenery, I suppose. Oh, there's a light on top of that thing. I can talk to nobody at the moment. Wait, where am I? Let's see the map. Oh, okay, this is the train station. This is, uh, this is my, where my father lives. Okay, I have to go across town. You know, I'm getting odd Daisy vibes. All good old Turner's vibes from this area. Okay, at least I can run, yeah. That's good. Oh, I do get thirsty over time. Good to know, good to know. Let's see, J. What was it? Inventory? Okay, it was. I have water here. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, I only have one bottle. Once again, I lost the previous bottles for some reason. Can I go in these? No. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot here. Can I jump over fences? Nope. Then I will find my way around. Oh dear, it looks like this is a dead end. A real dead end indeed. Oh man, I gotta go all the way around. Shit, just run. Hopefully, that one bottle of water will be enough to quench my thirst completely. Off we go. Off we go. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're thirsty. Okay, let, let's drink. I can just touch things. Okay. That just brings up like a description menu. Uh, pour out. Why would I do that? No, just drink it. There we go. Welcome to the machine. Looks like there's something that I can interact with up ahead. Who are those men? Question mark. Are they people? Uh, yes, it looks like they are. Hello there. Wait, it's you! I remember you. Today is meat day, Tanger. We feast on meat. What are you celebrating? Katange brought meat this morning. Said a warehouse door was left unlocked, so we took some. Vlad grows fatter by the day. He works. He takes the profit. So we've decided to take the meat, at least. Is it at least fresh? It is cured, Colburn. Who would keep their fresh meat in a warehouse? And if you need to drink, the water is next to the factory wall. See? Barrel water is the best. Brought from the step. But in a pinch, you can drink this too. Alright, show me the meat. Show me the meat. So there's a water pump here now? Alright, I guess I'll use the water pump. I have no water. Who are these kids? Recruits for all. No one cares about you. Wonderful. The abattoir. Okay, whatever. We'll just, uh, I guess the water's over here. Yeah. I have to go around. There's the little pump. We'll just use that. Can I talk to those people over there? No. Get water. Get water. Just drink straight out of the thing. Okay, let's move on. Let's go see Daddy. I love how it just says no one cares about you at every goddamn street corner. Now 
let's just run to the apartment. What? Whoa. A whole bunch of things I can talk to over there, but who's this? What is that? Hey, Kal uh, Karalda, I didn't do anything. Bihara, you can protect yourself. What did they run away? I don't know, they behaved so strange. What are you doing here, Bazayan? I brought my bones here. Yeah, I can see you brought a giant skull. Are you <laughs> kissing the skull? I'm not kissing it. It was in my hands. Then people ran. I was embarrassed and hid my face. But you haven't done anything wrong. Why were you ashamed? I won't explain it to you. I did nothing wrong. I just brought my bones here. What's wrong with that? These bones are mine. I didn't steal them. I tell the truth. Well, okay. You should be more careful with your bones. You're acting strange, and people rarely appreciate that. What's so strange about that? They're the strange ones. <laughs> well, people don't usually toy around with bull skulls. Fair enough. My, my character has a point. Who the hell goes around town dragging this giant bull skull around, huh? Who does that? Can I talk to you? Yes, I can, actually. Who are you? What do you have to say? Wait, you have the same face as the previous one. The weird nomad person. So relieved they brought fresh water from the springs. Otherwise, we'd have to drink from the Gorkhon. Have you lost it? You see the abattoir over there? Guess where all its waste gets dumped. You have no sense of humor, Tenech. Well, what are these random names they keep giving me? Who would drink from the Gorkhon? Even blood would be better. So fresh spring water is good news. But I wonder how long it will last. What about water bearers? Have they left for more? Vlad manages the water bearers now, but he's a simpleton. I've even heard rumors he might be digging a well. Surely false, of course. Even someone completely incompetent wouldn't do that. Indeed. I doubt anyone in this town would be that reckless. Alright, well... Alright, that tea pose was amazing. <laughs> Alright, we'll just carry on. Can I talk to the other guy? Yeah, let's just go see Daddy now. Run! Gotta move on. Knock. We could knock. It's not the right house, though. Oh, I hate that you cannot jump over these fences. Oh, shit! What is going on now? Wait, wasn't that the girl? one with the bull skull. Well, damn, that they sure didn't waste any time burning her as a witch. Mm, crispy. <laughs> oh, what can I say? Oh, I need to investigate. I really want to know what the hell went down here. Yeah, just... <laughs> oh, okay, I can just loot her charm. I, I thought I'd be able to just steal the bones right off the damn pole. You mon... Okay, yeah, talk to them. I want to know what the hell happened here. Her scream. The poor thing. It must have... It must have hurt terribly. Could she... Could she have been a person? Clay doesn't scream. Who was that? Who was burned? Hell if I know. They think it was the clay wench. The one who killed the old man. But I guess it wasn't. Oh, poor sinners. What old man? Go away, go away. It's bad enough as it is. I can't believe my eyes. You know, I'll say, this game... It doesn't really go a long way on trying to make sense of things. You gotta find out everything. You gotta, like, discover everything on your own. Bit by bit. In very small chunks. I've played this game for, like, what, about an hour now? I'm still... Very, very confused about what's going on. Don't even have the slightest clue about what is supposed to happen and what I'm supposed to do other than just follow the objectives the game has given me directly. But yeah, I like this kind of slow approach. 
that enigmatic story design. That's what I like. Where's my dad's house? How do I get to it? Oh, this damn maze, man. I have to get to my dad, like, right now. Maybe just use the street. People I can talk to. Awesome. What the hell happened here? How? Why? Curse the sir. This mind-numbing odor. What do we do now? Did you do this? No, it was twire addled mob. The step is in bloom and people get crazed. But never before was it this bad. Why a step girl? Old wives' tales. They claim a golem sometimes emerges from the ground. It looks like a woman, but this is all earth, clay, rock, and marrow. The story claims it has legs of bone and this uncanny way of walking. And the brides? You know they have a special walk, too. Not a walk, a dance. Do people seriously still believe this? In the morning, people screamed about step abomination. That it left no footprints and had bones for legs. But now, look. Only a girl. A step girl, sure. But alive. What bones? Can't you plainly see that it's a normal girl? Don't you know how it goes? Get her, one screams, and the rest crowd with... Sorry, and the rest crowd without hesitation. Especially in the night, especially with their minds intoxicated. Not everyone can think for themselves. It's easier to just do it as you're told. Shrewd. Okay, whatever, I don't want to talk to that anymore. Ooh. They'll know, they'll know, so I shouldn't do it when somebody's watching. Right, so... Dad lives here, I hope. Right? Or no? No, no, actually no. It is behind this house, or at least it should be. Yeah. This house over here. Yeah, finally. Oh, what is going on now? Who's dead now? There, locked shot won't let anyone in. Not that I object. There must be order. And so it was ordered. What are you all waiting for? Me? So you're Burak's son, then? The one who left town so long ago? You missed him by hours. Guessed it wasn't in the cards. Couldn't you have gone here, say, yesterday? Everything would be different then. And he waited for you so eagerly. Get on with it. What happened? Old Burak is dead. Dead? How? Dead, no one knows how. Rumor has it. He was murdered. A load of bull. He was like a father to all of us. Who would kill him? I don't buy it. Neither do I. Oh, maybe it was the guy who was killed last night. Now I just hear a random bull. Is it the giant bull? What's going on now? Oh no. Dad's dead. Thoughts. Where do I go now? That is a good question. Looks like my entire purpose of visiting this town was just snatched away from me. What does this boy have what? to say? Why are you covered in blood? Who are you? That's not important. Who you are, that's important. I'm old Burak's son. Why are you covered in blood? Haven't you seen what the streets are like? Whatever, but I'll remember you. Yeah, likewise, kid. Watch your tongue. Alright, this will be a good moment to take a break. And uh, I'll continue this later. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks. I'll catch you next time.